Some Chesterfield parents say they're upset about some of the things being taught inside their child's school, as well as several policies in place there. And they voiced their concerns last night to school board members, saying they're filing a very particular kind of complaint. Our Jake Burns breaks down their concerns and how the process is likely to play out. You were elected to serve the public and represent parents' wants for children. Heated moments at the Chesterfield School Board meeting Tuesday night as 11 parents addressed the school board like this. I am here tonight to publicly serve the board this notice of intent to file claim against your risk management plan. Those claims, the group says, will be filed against Chesterfield superintendent and school board if they don't address their demands. Those include ending COVID protections, removing books the group views as obscene, and halting transgender bathroom policies. Our public school systems have become a hostile environment for our children. The school board has enforced illegal mass policies. Your school board is distributing offensive material and pushing the LGBTQ agenda in schools. You and your school board members are in direct violation of the Geneva Declaration. In an interview with CBS 6, the group says they plan to file individual complaints against surety bonds held by the superintendent and the company that manages it. They have to decipher, hey, do these parents know what they're talking about or are they, is, is this a fact or is this made up? So there's no, there's no attorney needed, there's no court needed. These parents in a similar group in Loudoun are basing their efforts off a national group founded in 2022 named Bonds for the Win. It claims that parents can file these complaints against school officials and either force them to change policy or potentially step down. The Bonds for the Win website lists stock forms for groups to fill out and a YouTube link on it takes you to QAnon conspiracy theory content. So I don't know who QAnon is. The Chesterfield group is adamant. They are not tied to QAnon. Instead, they say they got their idea from other groups in other states over deep frustration with school board policy. So the trust was eroded initially slowly, but they were given ample chances, repeated chances to do what was right. We asked legal analyst Todd Stone to review the complaint, which includes alleged violations of international, federal, and felony level state law. So there are many criminal offenses listed here that don't have evidence to support them factually. Um, and then there are many that um, cite laws that really don't apply in this situation. Stone says any bonding company will have their lawyer review all the allegations. And a lawyer is going to look at this and say, well, the law that they cite doesn't apply. The facts that they recite is wrong in many cases. And um, in those cases where they are correct, they don't substantiate the criminal offenses that they're alleging. So those are the things that a surety is going to be considering. Um, and I don't think it's going to go very far because of that. A spokesperson for the Chesterfield County School Board and School District sent us a short statement and said, quote, we respectfully decline to comment.